Hello guys and welcome to my Team of the Season predictions and today I am going to be predicting the Team of the Season for the Barclays Premier League uh, I've made my own uh, customised cards on Photoshop I thought I'd uh, go for a bit of originality and not use like choose.com and things like that so guys we'll move on to the players and I hope you enjoy so the first player that I think is going to be definitely in the team of the season is going to be Gareth Bale. He's been absolutely amazing for Tottenham this season. He's scored them some crucial goals and it's amazing that he's a midfielder. Um, definitely will be 90, 97 rated, something like that if he gets team of the season. Maybe even 98. He's, de he's definitely proved himself this season and he is definitely one of the best players in the world at the moment. And the second player I think is definitely going to be in team of the season is Suarez. Suarez has played great for Liverpool, he's, he's an exceptional talent, he's got great dribbling and he's one of the top goal scorers uh, in the Barclays Premier League. Uh, so he, he should be in team of the season, if he's not I don't know what he is thinking. But yeah guys, he will be in it. And the third player that's going to be in team in the season, if you've not guessed already, Robin Van Persie. He is a cunt, but he is a great player. You can't deny how good he is. Uh, he just Every time he gets close to the net, it's a goal. He done the same for Arsenal, now he's doing it for Manu. He's, he's putting Manu in his backpack and he's carrying him along the field. So... Yeah, he'll, he'll be in it. He yeah, well, should be anyway. And now we've moved on to the fourth player, which is going to be Eden Hazard. He has done exceptional for Chelsea with his insane dribbling, his skills, his passing, his clinical finishing, his crossing, everything. He, he changes the game for Chelsea. I can't, you can't deny that. Along with Mata, I wasn't sure about who, who should I choose, Mata or Hazard. I was trying to choose between them, but I did choose Hazard. At the end, he is a much better player than Ma. I can see Hazard doing much better next season as it does take it does take a while to get into the Premier League, but now he's starting to get into it, so next season he will be amazing. So yeah guys, that's the fourth player I think will be in the team of the season. And the fifth player I think will be in the team of the season is Casola. Casola has been great for Arsenal. I'm an Arsenal fan myself and he is a game changer. His, his through balls and things like that, it just changed a game in seconds. He's just amazing in game, he can hold the ball up, he can do anything with the ball. And the ball, now, the ball it's hard for the ball to actually leave his feet, it just sticks to his feet when he's running with it. And he's fucking, he's a great player and he's one of the best signings uh, uh, Wenger's uh, bought in a while and I really like this guy in real life and then the sixth player we've got is Michu he's, an abs he's a bargain buy for Swansea he only cost him about 2 million and he's one of the top goal scorers this season he's already got 2 in forms so he definitely deserves a team of the season uh, this year I know I've put 3 strikers in but I couldn't decide between the 3 of them what 2 I would like in team of the season so I'll pick 3 all three of them deserve to be in it without a doubt and hopefully Mitchell will get in it he's, he's done so well for Swansea this season and he definitely deserves it and number 7 we have Vertonghen Vertonghen has done great for Tottenham he makes his, he makes his defence solid he's pacey he's, got, he's strong he's got great defending stats he managed to stop all the big teams like Man U, Man City and Arsenal. He done great against Arsenal. Arsenal could not get by his defence without a fucking doubt. And that's a reason Arsenal lost the game because Vertonghen is just too good. I have to admit it myself, that's come from an Arsenal fan. He is a great player. He's also scored five goals for a centre-back. He's just outrageous. Now we move on to our eighth player I think will be in the team of the season. And that is Leighton. Baines, uh, I don't think you'll be surprised with this guy, he's, he's done great the past three seasons, two seasons, 
his link up, his link up with Pina is just outstanding. The way they pass the ball about and just create chances is great. So this guy definitely deserves to be in team of the season. And I've put some, I've put his stats up quite a bit, but he definitely deserves stats like that. Not, not the ones I've put, but something similar. To be honest, he deserves better passing stats and defending stats. To be honest. Then at number 9 we have De Gea, he's done great for Man U, he's got them quite a few clean sheets, he's, he's saved some crucial shots, he's just done everything really, he's one of the, he's a great keeper, he's, he's now proven himself, there was questions about him last season when he wasn't performing to his, his best, but now he is performing to his best and he is going to be in team of the season. And the 10th player we have in team of the, I think I'll be in team of the season is Zabaleta. Zabaleta is great for his runs down the wing. He's, his shooting is great as well. I can't remember if he's actually scored any goals, but I think, I think he scored a schemer. I can't remember who it was against, but he did score a schemer. Um, I was struggling to choose between him and Raphael, but I think Zabaleta has out, outperformed Raphael this season without a doubt. He's just great in real life and he's definitely got more experience than Raphael and he does show it on the field. And at number 11, you guys are probably surprised by this one. I don't know if he's actually watched Swansea in real life. If he's do, then you'll know this guy is amazing. And he's also won a trophy this season. He's, he's the captain of Wales also. He's a great centre-back. He's done he's done wonders for Swansea this season. I, I watch him all the time. I really love watching this guy along with Chico. I wasn't sure what one to choose, but they both they both deserve at least something this season. The way they've performed is outrageous and he's an absolute monster and I think he would be a great uh, team of the season if they put his stats up I'd choose him definitely I'd choose him any day. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed my team of the season predictions for the Barclays Premier League. The next the next team of the season predictions I am going to do is going to be the Bundesliga and that will be uploaded in a few days. Uh, it does take a lot of time to create the cards and to actually edit and make the video. So about 2-3 days maybe, because I'm going to be busy over the next couple of days. and. And I would just like to point out that I did make the cards on my own. Uh, did take a lot of time. I had to put all the pictures and all that in also. That's why the text does look a bit out of place and other things look a bit out of place. But you can still tell who the players are and what the stats are and things like that. So yeah guys, uh, drop a comment, like the video and subscribe if you want to see more predictions. So, au revoir.